Hello everyone, I'm here at the home of international show jumper Graham Lovegrove. We're at his um, family home, Lark Hill Farm in Essex, and today he's showing us how he's trained his show jumpers at home and the gymnastics that he uses for horses with the use of grid work. Um, we've been out in the school this morning with his lovely horse Tintin, so let's meet the man himself. Hi Graham, thank you for talking to us today. Tell us a little bit about Tintin and then we'll go into some detail about the grid work. Tintin, yeah, he's, he's eight year old. I've had him since he was five. Uh, he's Dutch bred by Cavalier, a big, big frame of a horse. Um, he was third in the Fox Hunter final last year as a seven-year-old. Mm -hmm. And, you know, fingers crossed, hopefully this year you can go on to do the Nations Cup, hopefully. Well, we've just spent some time out in the school um, and we've been using grid work. Now, you've set up a double of oxes and that's the, the grid that we were using. Now, why would you use that particular grid? Tell us a little bit about why we've set that one up. Um, I use this, this grid, actually, to basically I want the horse to go upwards into the air mm -hmm. the distance is is shorter than you would normally get you'd normally a normal double would be about seven meters 30 as an average you know you would see at a show mm -hmm. we're down to about 620 here okay um, so we've made it quite a bit shorter than you would normally have um, you can even come shorter than that you can come down to less than six meters mm -hmm. um, but as a start you know you for someone you'd want to start say something like 630 um, but the idea is the horse climb. You want the horse to climb up, land in short. That's why you have the pole inside, mm -hmm. so that he has to land in short. He has his one short controlled stride, mm -hmm. and then he has to come and climb to get out. I don't want the horse to jump across the fence. Right. I want the horse to climb. That, that's the so most important thing So we've got a takeoff pole, first oxer, ground pole, second oxer, yeah, we, is that right? You're going to see a pole... You see a pole on the floor that's one stride mm -hmm. before the first oxer. Mm -hmm. So I came to around the corner with the horse in balance. I try and keep the rhythm the same. Mm -hmm. Same rhythm to the fence. I pop over the pole, soften off my hand a little bit, put a little bit of leg on, ask the horse to take off. He'll, he'll climb over. You keep the oxer going in ascending. Mm -hmm. And when I, make, when I say ascending, I mean the front rail smaller, the back yep. rail bigger. Mm -hmm. So to make him climb up into the air, the pole then inside will make him drop down short. Mm -hmm. Then he takes his one controlled stride and then he'll climb then to get out of the mm -hmm. second. Now, Tintin's a big framed, powerful horse. So it was it was amazing watching him get through that today. Um, and when there was a mistake or a rail down, you didn't seem to change anything. And I think that's quite important. For a, it's repetition with any horse, mm -hmm. you know, the, the more times you do it, the more happy they are with it. Um, and as you can see there, he, he is confident doing that, but he has done it a lot. You know, mm -hmm. it's not something we just done once today for the first time. He mm -hmm. has trained on that a lot of times. So how often in, within your week's training would you do that? I would do some form of grid with my horses once, definitely twice a week. Mm -hmm. You know, it, that goes in with any other exercising of hacking up around the woods, a bit of road work, mm -hmm. a bit of jumping dressage, as I call it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's sort of the programme, really. Great. Now, we've seen on the other footage, you've done other grids. So we started with the canter poles and then we've got some other ones on there. Would you recommend starting with any particular grid if you've never really done grid work before? I would start with the canter poles. It's the easiest one to start with. Um, and then the second one is the bounce exercise. That's that's a nice easy exercise to build up into mm -hmm. and the, the doubler oxes is a bit more specialized it's a bit more depending on the level that you want to compete at um, the idea for me with that exercise is I want the horse to climb and you'll see there's a bar goes across the back of the mm -hmm. the second oxer now that is to help the horse climb that's only there because he will see that and it makes him climb in the middle of the oxer right. more than him go across the oxer that's yes, what that's for there was one point we knocked the back rail then you added that in didn't you and then he came through and just really yeah. popped over Th that that's a, I always put that in in across an oxer just to keep the horse to climb you want him to do a nice arc over the oxer not a flat Mm -hmm. And from a riding point of view, obviously we need to make the point that you make it look so easy coming into these things. What do you? What would you recommend for a rider to do with the approach, the come in, and all that kind of thing? I mean, it always starts with your your jump, jumping dressage. You have to be confident enough on the flat that your horse can canter around the corner without arguing mm -hmm. to the to the approach fence. If you can't canter around the first corner to a pole on the floor, you can't then do a double of octas or your canter poles. You've got to be able to keep your horse balanced at that level before you build up into these. Mm -hmm. And starting quite small and building up, or is it an exercise you tend to go into at quite a size? No, I always start small. Even if the horse has done it a hundred times before, I always start off small and easy and build it up to them. Brilliant. Grand Love Grove, thank you very much. Thank you.